This video will demonstrate the GLS-1000's ability to go from field to finished CAD model. Fred Moser of Topcon was on site at an abandoned Washington Mutual Bank for the project. His first steps are to choose the scan positions. Fred is careful to choose four strategic positions that will maximize the scanner's line of sight to the building. This will help eliminate the need for additional scan positions. The next step is to set up the instrument for scanning in position 1. Fred places the scanner on the tripod, chooses the desired settings, and inserts the memory card which will hold the scan data. Now he's ready to scan. Each scan takes approximately 8 to 10 minutes to complete, so we sped up the process so you could see him moving from station to station around the perimeter of the building. The scanner packs up and sets up quickly. Once Fred finishes at all four positions, he will take the scan data from the memory stick and bring it into TopCon's ScanMaster software. This will allow him to register and connect all of the scan positions together into a single coordinate system, as well as clean up any noise or unwanted data. The data can then be brought into AutoCAD for design. Once in Scan Master, create a new project. Next, browse to and open the PRJ file from the memory stick. This allows us to preview all the elements contained in the PRJ before import. If there were elements we did not want, we'd simply unselect those elements. When ready, click Import. The next step is to import the control file for the project. These are the coordinate values for the occupation and backside points used during the scan. Browse to the location of the save control file and open. Now zoom extends to view the location of the scanned positions. Then turn on the scans in the Project Explorer and our project begins to take shape. With all scans displayed, it's clear that before registration, each scan is oriented based on the scanner center being at coordinate of 0, 0, 0. Now activate the scan to display the scan properties. Here we can enter the details for instrument height, occupation point, backside point, and backside target height. These are traditional survey elements, so if they sound unfamiliar, don't worry. ScanMaster routines can be mastered by a new user with a few days of training. This same process is completed for each individual scan. Once completed for all four positions, the scans are ready to be registered. Click on the Registration tab and select the scans that you want to register. Then click the green right arrow button to register the scans. The registration report indicates that all scans were successfully registered. Click on the default tab and zoom extends. We can see that all scans are now registered and properly oriented on our local coordinate system. We can edit out the unwanted data with the selection tools and simply delete the unwanted data. We are left with the desired data set. In this case, we're interested in the bank building and a portion of the parking lot. The green, blue, yellow, orange, and red colors are referred to as intensity values. The colors are determined based on the strength of the laser's return. ScanMaster allows us the flexibility to use the intensity values of the data 
or to use the true RGB values from images collected by the scanner's built-in digital camera. For this project, we will use the RGB by coloring the scans from the images. At this point, we select the entire data set, create a cloud, then export the cloud in the format we'll be using in AutoCAD with Qubit Point Cloud. TopCon will use Qubit Point Cloud to help import and manipulate the data within AutoCAD. Qubit Point Cloud, in combination with native AutoCAD commands, provides the user with many tools for designing in 2D or 3D. For a simple floor plan, a slice is taken through the body of the building. From a top view, it's easy to see the outline of the floor plan. A user can now digitize with traditional CAD commands or use special line fitting functions from Qubit, which are shown in this example. Notice how the line segments are auto-connected to one another. After a couple of minutes, a completed floor plan is done simply in AutoCAD. Remember that all of the basic CAD commands are still functional, so taking dimensions are quite simple. Elevation drawings are made easy as well. Simply choose the correct view or UCS in AutoCAD and begin digitizing. This example has already been completed but shows the line work overlaid with the cloud data. Three D modeling can be achieved with traditional AutoCAD modeling tools, architecture tools, or any series of libraries that a user wishes to use. These rectangles, which make up the base of the pillars, are extruded to their highest point to create a quick AutoCAD solid. This is an example of a simple 3D model which was created from the scan data. Notice the points overlay with the model very well once they're turned on. Again, this model is very simple, but more detail can be added depending on what is desired by the user.